what a qualifying. I mean, what the hell just happened? Absolutely crazy. Max Verstappen was on for pole position and it wasn't even close. It was an absolutely insane lap he was on. Possibly one of the greatest qualifying laps of all time. And he stacked it right at the last corner. It was looking so good. Having said that, today we're here and we're going to try and beat the pole time. I'm doing it on a set of Corsa again. I know a lot of you are going to want me to do it on F1 2021. But the game is too fast. So we're back on this again. And I think this will be a challenge. So I'm looking forward to it. Having said that, the Jetta, the Assetto Corsa version, let's say, isn't as accurate as real life, of course. There are some limitations, but still, it should be good fun, and it should be a challenge. So, the mods used in this video are linked down below. We are using the Race Sim Studio F1 car once again, driving as the eventual pole man, Lewis Hamilton. Now, the pole time is on screen, along with all the other lap times. You have to try and beat, I believe, a 26.5, if, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, we're going to try and achieve that here today. So... We're going to jump into it. Hopefully we achieve it in, you know, a short amount of laps because I've got somewhere to be. But anyway, let's jump into it. Leave a like if you want to enjoy. Subscribe for more. I do this for every single race. We've got one more to go at Abu Dhabi. And hopefully, fingers crossed, if I can, I'll try and bring you guys the new version of that track to a Seto Corsa. So fingers crossed that works out. So get subscribed for that. And uh, yeah, we're going to jump into it. So let's see if we can beat Pole. Let's get the show on the road and let's see what happens. So... We've done plenty of videos on Jetta, especially on Assetto Corsa before we had it available to us in the F1 game. It's not fully accurate, but it will do, and the lap time is slower, so therefore it will be more of a challenge, and that's kind of the objective of these videos, you know, that I want to try and make them a challenge for myself, so yeah, it's not going to take away from the driving experience, and I think it's still going to be a very tough lap to get right, as we saw from qualifying, so... Yeah, let's briefly touch on qualifying then. So Hamilton on pole, Bottas P2. Verstappen has to start from the second row, which is also a bit of a disaster. And Perez starts from P5 as well. Um, Red Bull dropping the ball in Q3, and I think Max's crash may have cost Perez his final lap. I'm not 100% certain. Either way, Red Bull um, will be gutted about that. And, you know, it could get worse. Max could take a grid penalty with the gearbox. So, who knows? We'll find out over the next few hours if not tomorrow morning but it's going to be a massive 24 hours and put it this way I think if Max leaves Jeddah tomorrow in second place with the fastest lap I think he'll count himself very very happy with that so yeah it looks like you know the wind's blowing in Hamilton sails right now Max making his first mistake admittedly a very a very small mistake you know he's made none at all this season and um, yeah what a time to make it either way Hamilton almost stacked it in Q3 as well of course and that's kind of where these guys are. They're right on the limit. Because, you know, Lewis could have quite as easily lost it. Uh, but luckily, had a bit more runoff. Anyway, let's give this a shot. So, here goes our first lap. Let's see what a banker's looking like around here as we make our way down towards turn one. Kind of used to the F1 2021 version, so there's going to be a bit of a adaptation process. Back on the gas, struggling there. I can't use the runoffs of the track, so we can't exploit tracking this maybe as much as you normally would through the S's flat out through there flat out through there as well bit of a lift into this one and then touch more of a lift there but we now carry the speed DRS on here as well this is a DRS zone as we then head into the stadium section or oh, nowhere near as much banking as rule life or in the game so we can't carry the same amount of speed through the uh, little short kind of curve straight and then into this little chicane right left a bit tighter than is in real life you have to scrub off a bit more speed and then now flat out for another 10 seconds as we approach the hotel this is not a DRS zone currently on a set of C3 tyres so we can go a, a compound softer underneath the hotel 6 gear through there carrying the speed and now we open the DRS again on the run down towards the final corner we will do now spot the braking easier said than done as we saw in Q3 Went a bit too early to be fair final corner on the gas much wider than it is in real life as we open the RS and now we're going to see what this first lap is going to give us it's going to be finish line a bit further down here so bear that in mind 29.9 okay we can work with that and by the way the finish line's further down the straight but it makes no difference to the lap time because it just means 
there's less of a straight when you start the lap, so it's a bit shorter distance. So the actual track kilometers are exactly the same. So yeah, with that said, let's start doing some setup changes. We have to find about three and a half seconds. Okay, so lap number two, I'm just getting the tires up to temperature and I'm not scrubbing off too much speed. We've cranked up the aero basically. We've got a bit more front end than rear end because I want to try and carry more speed through the fast corners. I feel like I'm dropping a little bit. And to compensate, we're going to just turn the engine mode a little bit to make up for that wing change so that we're not too slow on the straights. Also reduce the fuel from 30 to 15 litres, so we halved it pretty much. So this should give us a bit more performance. Here we go then. That's all turn one as the lap starts. Now, brake a lot later this time. We know we can go a bit braver on the brakes. Turn two, easy on the exit, not using the runoff. Now, into the S section, here we go. That was much better. I actually broke through there, probably didn't need it. We're a full second up though as we head into the baseball stadium. Well, no, the baseball stadium is a stadium section, period. Much lower this time. On entry, using the little bit of camber and banking that we have. Struggling on the exit though as we make our way into the uh, rear end part of the track, carrying a lot more speed. Oh, we understood to the wall, that's not going to help. I bounced off the wall, but we actually lost time using a lot of corner exit momentum as we're only 1.1 up, so we only gained a tenth in that middle sector. Hotel section. Oh, a bit of understeer. Run a bit wide, didn't quite get the apex. The RS open again. We need to nail this far in the corner to try and get a lap out of this. Let's see. Can we commit on the brakes and be a bit brave? Yeah, that's decent. Decent exit as well. The RS open on the run down to the line. Let's see what this lap is going to be then. Hopefully, a decent improvement as we just run out of the RS. 28.3, 1.6 seconds faster. Interesting. So we need to find 1.8 seconds more. We're going to have to call up the, um, the heavy artillery. So C4 tires. Here we go. This is it. So in terms of the regular setup, this is about as good as it gets. So I'm running minimum fuel and I've got the C4 compound tire on. I've also just made a bit more refinements to the aero. So we're going to use all of the engine power that we have available. So we're going to also crank up the MGUH. And this is it. This is all we have. I made an adjustment to the brake bar. So slightly more towards the rear to see if I can get a bit of rotation under trial braking. But if this doesn't work, we're going to have to call up the ultimate setup, which I always use in case I'm desperate. But let's give it a shot. Turn one. Nicely done. No locking up this time. Oh, big snap though. Whoa. Big moment. Track is very slippy. Gonna try and carry the speed. Accidentally went to the wrong gear there. I think this is all flat if I can get the line right. This is a lot wider than real life. We're only a tenth down, so we'll keep pushing, but this isn't going to be a fully, you know, accurate lap in terms of what we can do. Lost so much time through turn two. But I should be able to find some time throughout the rest of the lap here. Especially this middle sector. This should came right here. Had to get out of it, but at least this time I didn't hit the wall, so we've gained a bit of time. Tires getting hot as well. May have to have them a bit cooler for the start of the lap, but we are seven tenths up, so let's keep going. Nah, that's just too much speed. We'll finish this up anyway, just to get a lap on the board, but we are pushing a bit too much. Let's see what this is going to be. Can we make the final corner? And the brakes. On the power quite a bit earlier that time with the C4 tire. I think it's going to be actually a fairly decent improvement, to be fair, considering across the line we go, 27-1. Well, I'll tell you what, we found a lot of time. I think the engine mode helped. Right, uh, I'm going to go away now. I'm going to get the sweat set up on. I think we can beat this 26.5, but it has to be a good lap though. We need to hook it up and that's not going to be easy.
Yes, there we go. What a lap. That was perfect. We hooked that up beautifully. The first sector was on the money, lifted off the right times. And then the middle sector, that chicane where we kept on hitting the wall was perfection. And then even the hotel as well, I kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, managed to get, I scrubbed off a bit more speed at the beginning to clean up the run and get a better kind of average speed through the corner. And uh, then the final corner, I just went a bit early on the apex, but it was mainly just, you know, cleaning it up and nailing it. And I'm really happy with that. That was pretty much as good as it gets. It's maybe like a high 25 sitting there, but you know what, 26.1, we'll take that. And uh, that's even, I think, a fraction quicker than what I've done in the F1 game, actually. So I think in F1, I did a 26.22. So yeah, we've done it. It goes to show, though, it's amazing how close the set of course is and how much of a challenge it is to get the right lap time. And um, even F1 is not too far off around here. Anyway, there's no replays because this mod does not have replay cameras for the track. So let's move into the setup. Well, feel free to copy away. So we have the tires, we have the fuel, electronics, aero. It's the exact same setup I've used, I think, uh, for the Qatar episode and the ones before that. It's just a preset setup that I got online, which has very good kind of suspension downfalls and balance over curbs and I uh, just keep using it and just reusing it uh, track to track just basically uh, making a small tweaks to the aero if necessary on certain tracks so there you go there is the setup so hopefully you enjoyed it if you did leave a like subscribe for more for daily f1 content on my channel and we've got one more left the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and like I said I want to try and bring that bring that to you guys with the new circuit I have seen it in action in a Soto Corsa um, if I can get it, then I'll try my best because I'd love it if I could. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll leave the mods for these, this track and this car, just the mods used in general. This video is linked down below, so go check those out. But yeah, that is it for me today. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you to the members, as always, for supporting the content. And finally, check out the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them. But that is it for me here today, and I'll see you all next time.